माई डियर भिवार्स ओलकाम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल इलेक्ट्रिकल पैसनेट टूडे आई सल डिसकस एंड शो यू हाउ टू मेक कंट्रोल केबल टर्मिनेशन शिड्यूल फर इडिक्शन एंड कमिशनिंग अफ ए थार्टी थ्री के वि फिडर वे आई होप दि भिडियो इज गोयिंग टू बी भेरि हेल्पफुल एंड इंटरेस्टिंग वन सो प्लिज व्च दि भिडियो केयरफुली आफ्टर व्चिंग दिस भिडियो प्लिज डू सबसक्राइब टू दि चैनल like and share if possible the main purpose of a termination schedule is to document the physical connections of wires between electrical components it allows to easily identify where a wire or cable to be terminated and its corresponding connections on the other side such as between circuit breaker mechanism box and respective control relay panel termination block in this picture you are watching a 33 kv feeder bay comprises of two numbers of isolator one at member side and other at line side circuit breaker number 1 three numbers cts ls and xl cables suppose all these have been erected but no wires is done for connection we shall now connect the current transformers with control and relay panel and circuit breaker with control and relay panel also here we have to connect ac dc power connection to the circuit breaker mechanism box there are so many terminal blocks at ctjb circuit breaker mechanism box and at control and relay panels we have to make a termination schedule by which we can connect all these components with their respective terminal blocks by paralleling the cable at both ends watch please is the drawing fast of both ends component to be connected how a termination schedule is prepared suppose we are going to make a termination schedule between ct terminals and control and relay panels terminals mean for same feeder we see the drawing of 33 kb ct connections having one metering core and one protection core at the ct end all current transformers are wired according to marking of secondary bushing and wires are brought to a junction box and terminated here at terminal block number 1234567 on the other side at control and relay panel according to drawing metering as well as protection wires like d11 d31 d51 d71 and c11 c31 c51 c71 are brought at terminal block numbered x6 x7 x8 etc control cables that is control wires are connected according to terminal schedule between the appropriate terminal blocks control cables are generally numbered that is paralleling of each core is done at both ends of the wire according to control and relay panel sides terminal numbering or marking control cable connections of other head of components are to be done similarly please watch
as per termination or cable schedule control cables of required cores are selected first as example 4 core 8 core 12 core 16 core etc of 4 mm square 2.5 mm square 1.5 mm square etc then control cable is laid between termination end of components to be connected by wires using cable tench with proper measurement. IR of cable cores are then checked. Both ends of cores are marked if not marked by the makers. Next, cable glanding is done properly. Then ferruling and socketing of each code is done as per termination schedule. Finally, both ends are connected at respective terminal blocks. Thank you for watching this video.